I really think our physical part of our game is, is way ahead of what we've been the last couple of years. Um, we tweaked a couple of things at practice that I think have been helping out a ton. Um, and again, but it's, it's those, those, those front guys, front five up uh, on the offensive line. It's our front four on the defensive line that I think has, has really showed out where our physicality can be. Um, and we just got to continue to build on that uh, each week uh, over the next couple of weeks and get ready for Strongsville. Our mentality is just we're going to run the ball. Like, we're going to run the ball. And if people want to guard, like, me and Aiden, then we're just going to run it down their throats. And if they want to stack the box, then they're not going to be able to stop the pass. Our own line's really good this year. They're all huge. We got a lot of returning starters. Even the second string guys are all stepping up. We got a few small, like, bang ups, injuries. Nothing crazy, but guys are stepping up so our uh, starting offense can keep rolling. And the physicality's just been great. I think it's also very important for us to be able to open up that run game to open up the passing game. Because you got guys like Stu and Aiden out on the edge, and you're like, if you're bringing more guys down in the box and those guys are single coverage, I'd take them every single time. Having definitely the, the core there of, of Jack, Joe, and um, Max, um, all three of them being three-year starters, like we are going to rely on them heavily to, to not only lead us, but to, to make sure we're controlling the clock and we're keeping keeping the down markers rolling. Obviously, you could probably go ad nauseum on Max, but for him coming up as a freshman two years ago to where he is now, what do you make of his development and where he is with you guys? I mean, the kid's a machine. Uh, he doesn't stop. Uh, he's one of those type of kids that, um, you know, he's he's going to put in the extra work even after practice is over. Um, he's a kid that, you know, is kind of a founding member of our FCA. Um, and he gets great grades and he's, he's a great motivator and, he's a, you know, he, he's a caretaker at times as well. I mean, the kid just kind of does it all for us. It's his work, work ethic, honestly. I've never seen anyone work harder than him. I mean, he's a great human. Just his work ethic is unmatched. I've never seen anything like it. We're coming in with a different mentality. We're very physical. Like, we might have two returning, returning starters on defense. So they're all coming up and they're having, and they're having a strong mentality. Just go. These new defensive linemen in front of you who are starting to come into their own this month, how much is that is getting pushed by those guys on the offensive line? Because we know you have three or four starters right. back on the offensive line, and I think that's what Avon Lake's always been known as, but especially right now. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome to be able to have that many linemen where we're just going at each other all practice. And I mean, it really makes them better. It makes us linebackers better. It makes the offensive line better. So it's just amazing to be able to just go at each other and know that we're getting some really good reps. You especially have to be feeling good because you're healthy. Yeah. You missed the second half of last season mm -hmm. because of injury. How tough was that? What did you take from it? What did you see out there? Um, it was tough just having to be on the sideline because like, I mean, playing both ways, like I'm watching my position. I'm like, I want to be out there, but it also was helpful to like the younger guys because I could still coach them and help them out. And now they're starters. You know, what he had four picks in the first four and a half games that he played in. Um, you know, as far as receiver is concerned, is super productive. I think he had like 18 catches, if I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, and a touchdown. Um, but even more so, his ability to flip the field at punt return. Um, I mean, he was constantly putting our offense in good spots, whether it was turnovers, whether it was punt return, uh, whether it was his catches, um, things like that. And, he, you know, you got to make up for that somehow. And, and him being off the field uh, was tough. Um, but we're super happy to get him back and, and and healthy and getting ready to go. We're playing for something. Like last year, we didn't go where we wanted to. I think everyone's coming back this year just wanting it.